Hey, what's up you guys? Michelle here. I cannot believe it, but October is almost over. Ah, how did this happen so fast? I don't even understand. But today I'm doing an October favorites video. I have a bunch of things that I've either discovered recently or I've just been loving a super lot recently and I'm gonna show them to you. This episode of Vegan Favorites is brought to you by Woodstone Watches. They're sponsoring this video and they make these awesome wooden watches. Um, so I'll include some information down below if you are interested in checking them out. They're pretty awesome. But without further ado, I'm gonna jump right in. I'm gonna start with kind of an unusual favorite. It is wallpaper. So I just moved recently into a new house and I'm trying to make it awesome, a place that I love and that really feels like home. And I found this really, really cool vegan wallpaper. I know that sounds crazy, but the design has animals on it and has some messaging in it that's really positive. I got this off of Spoonflower. I clearly haven't put it up yet. I will I will somehow find a way to show you a photo once I do, but um, I'll, I'll drop in some photos of what it looks like on a wall from their website. It's a vegan artist, and I think they connected or um, collaborated with Mooshoes, if I'm remembering correctly, to create this wallpaper, and I'm gonna be putting it up on one wall because it's kind of expensive in my laundry room, and I'm so excited about it. I know that's really random. While we're on like the house theme though, if any of you guys are like obsessed with decorating your house, I'm really into these, what are they called? Not cheesecloths. Oh, what's the word? I can never remember this. But anyway, these like just kitchen cloths. I don't know, you can get like a pack of 20 for like $5 or $10, really inexpensive, but lots of artists are printing their artwork on them and you can use it just as like a little dish towel. So I found this artist that has um, a bunch of different farmed animals printed on them and I love them. It's just like a way to make my kitchen me, like more me, something that I love to cook in. Um, so I'll drop the link to this artist down below in case any of you guys are interested in checking them out. Another favorite this month, oh my gosh. Have I told you about these yet? I can't, I feel like I have not, but if I have, uh, sorry about the duplication. But this company is Divi's. They make these cookie sandwiches that are vegan and they are to die for. They're so good. You can find them at Sprouts. They're probably elsewhere online. I haven't seen them at any other grocery stores besides Sprouts, but they are like those chewy Chip Chips Ahoy cookies. Like so chewy, cream filled. You would never ever in a million years guess that they're vegan and uh, they're amazing. So obviously not a health food, but definitely a smaller company. It says they're vegan and nut free and non-GMO. So just wanted to give them a little shout out. So good, you guys. Another favorite, okay. I also don't know where these are available, but when I moved to Sacramento, I went to their co-op, which is like a big natural, Sacramento natural food store that's kind of like Whole Foods, but a little, they have different products. And I found these, frozen vegan tamales. I've bought a lot of vegan frozen tamales before, like it seems like a lot of brands make them, but these are so good. Like light years better than any of the other ones I've tried. And I don't know where they're available, but you guys, like see if you can find them because they're so good. I buy so many of these now because I'm just obsessed. And they're so easy, you can just pop it on the plate and microwave it and you're done. Okay, so it's almost November, Thanksgiving month, and I have to give a shout out to my favorite vegan roast. I think this is my favorite. I have not tried them all, and Tony and I are gonna be doing a taste test of all of the vegan like roasts that we can find. My freezer is actually full of them right now, and we're gonna be doing it tomorrow. But as far as I know, this is my favorite. This is the Field Roast Roast. They have like a regular roast, which is really good. Honestly, that's usually what I get. This one's a little harder to find. But then, I think last year, maybe a couple years ago, they came out with this, is it called a Wellington? Like, what's it called when it has the dough wrapper? Um, and croot? I guess, and this is the hazelnut cranberry, and it is just so special, you guys. If you can find this, it's like $15, but maybe even 20, but so worth it. I believe I found this at Sprouts, and I'm so excited to try, and I'm really excited for my turkey taste test tomorrow with Tony, so stay tuned for that. Um, really, really good. Also another kind of seasonal favorite of mine, 
soya too. They make this soy whip. I think they also have like a, is it an almond whip or a coat? They have another one that's also vegan, but I really like the soy whip. The beauty of this is you can just spray it on your hot cocoa or your coffee, whatever you're drinking, ice cream, fruit, whatever you're doing, you can spray this on and it just makes you feel so, so standard American. <laughs> like it brings you back to, to like childhood and makes it feel so holiday-esque. So I just adore this. Um, I find this at Whole Foods. They also have it at a lot of natural food stores and I also found it at Sprouts. Next up is a cookbook favorite. This is the Joy of Vegan Baking. This is actually the updated edition and I had the joy of photographing a lot of the photos of Colleen in here. So it's got a really special place in my heart, but this the older version was actually my very first vegan cookbook. And I've been using it for years to do all my baked good needs. I recently made a birthday cake out of this book. I've made like the lemon bars in here. I've made, oh my God, the waffles from this are so good. I actually asked Colleen if I could share the recipe in a video and she said, yes, so I'll be doing that soon. But I just feel like this is a good staple cookbook that everyone should have in their kitchen. It's, she makes the recipes really simple. Like they don't use any fancy ingredients. They're just simplified as much as possible and I just adore it. So thanks for creating this Colleen. And this is a favorite. I will link it down below if you guys are interested in picking up a copy on Amazon. A few more favorites this month. One is a nail polish. I'm not wearing any nail polish today, but often I do, and you usually see me wearing this one. And in the comments, a lot of you often say, where do you get that nail polish? Is it vegan? Yes, there's such a thing as vegan nail polish. Uh, I guess most nail polish is vegan, but most generic brands are tested on animals, so they're not cruelty-free, but there are tons of vegan cruelty-free nail polish brands that now exist. This one is Adorn, and what is this color? I don't even know. It's called Olive You Long Time. Oh, that's cute. Like, I love you a long time, but Olive You Long Time. I love wearing this in the fall. And uh, yeah, I think I got it from a Vegan Cuts box. And I think I'm gonna do a video. Let me, guys, let me know if you guys want this, just a whole video featuring vegan nail polish brands so you know what to look out for. Uh, but this is Jeff. Just one of my favorites. In general, the vegan nail polishes don't work quite as well, or they're not quite as long lasting from my experience, but I also just like put my nails through hell. So maybe that's just me. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've worn the generic, but generic nail polish often contains formaldehyde, which is like a human body preservative. Like it's just, it just has the nastiest chemicals. So if not for animals, do it for animals, but if not for animals, do it for your own health. Like you don't want the chemicals of nasty nail polish in your system and it really does go into your system. So that's a win. And finally, I wanna show a creamer that I've been loving lately. This is the new Ripple Creamer. Well, it's kind of new. I think it came out this summer. It's their half and half and um, it's got omega-3s. This is their original flavor. I believe they also have a vanilla, and just, it's so cute. Like, look at the packaging. This is made with their um, infamous pea protein. Ripple makes all their drinks based on a pea protein, so they're very high in protein. They're very high in nutrients, um, and it's just so creamy. It's so perfect for coffee. I've been drinking a lot of coffee lately, so creamers, I'm into them, and also, um, I created this program called the Dairy Detox, and a lot of people who go through this detox, uh, my friend Allison and I who created it with me, we thought the main challenge was gonna be cheese, that everyone was gonna be like, oh, I would go vegan, but I can't give up cheese. We all heard that, right? Well, it turns out we're finding out a lot of people are struggling with creamer, with half and half, like what to put in their milk, which seems so crazy to me because there's like infinite types of vegan milk. Like you've got your almond, your coconut, your cashew, your soy, your hemp, your flax, like every type of milk that you could imagine. And it seems like every company these days has a creamer in like 50 varieties. Like I even found a peppermint mocha or a peppermint chocolate creamer, pumpkin spice creamer, hazelnut creamer, like every type of creamer exists. So I don't know why, what is the challenge? Like try, like look for the kinds that are vegan and just try them out. They're all really good, but I really like this one and you can find it at Target. So, yay Ripple, yay all of these things, yay 
for uh, almost to being November and the holidays being like right around the corner. Oh my God. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As I mentioned before, this video was brought to you by Woodstone Watches. They sponsor this video and I just, I love their watches. They're so natural and um, just like environmentally sustainable and really beautifully made and I just adore this. So I will include the link for Woodstone down below if you wanna check them out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. Uh, let me know down below, what have you been loving lately? Have you tried any of these things? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you think I'm like crazy for like going crazy over all of these things? <laughs> let me know down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah!